All right, welcome back to Mastering MMA. I'm Coach Lee here with you. Um, as you can see, we're definitely still under construction, um, doing a lot this weekend, so hopefully we will be looking a lot more professional again um, by the end of the weekend. Today we are doing a viewer request um, where we are talking about um, uppercuts. The viewer actually requested uh, the bolo punch, and uh, we're just gonna include that and, and in a group of uppercuts. We'll talk about the details of it and how it's used and such. Um, so anyways, we'll jump right into it. So we're gonna talk about uppercuts. Um, in general, it's a shorter range punch, but doesn't necessarily have to be a short range punch, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna get the same distance I'm getting off my jab, but I don't have to be you know, right up beside somebody to throw this real short uppercut, right? I can, I can lengthen them. I can, I can uh, use long uppercuts, short uppercuts, um, the bolo. So let's talk about this a little bit. Let's start out with the short uppercut. This is my, my power punch, um, or a power punch. Um, it's a lot more power on your short one than it is the long one, um, just as if uh, you were throwing hooks, right? Your short hooks have a lot more power than your long hooks. So let's talk about the body movements. Um, the things that change between your short and your long is the angle of your elbow and obviously the distance on your target, right? So I'm in here when I throw my uppercut for a short one, my the angle of my elbow is going to be a, a lower degree, right? I don't want to get really extended. So I'm in here, I'll kind of sit on my sit on my punch, I bend my knees, and I drive off of my my toes all the way up through my calf, my thigh, my hip rotates in, and I lift, right? And I'm not looking to come way up here. I just want to punch about halfway through my opponent's head as the target, right? I'm not looking to go, because then I'm going to be way out of range, or, or not out of range, but out of uh, position. So I just want to be in here, and I boom, right? If I go to my other one, I lean, I put the weight on, and I throw it. Notice how if I'm throwing my close one, right, the angle on this elbow is a very small degree. Um, so that's, that's if my opponent's standing real close, right? So if they're standing further away, I've got to lengthen it. So my, my uppercut would then be out here. So I've got a lot higher degree of angle on, uh, on my uppercut. So if I'm throwing, it, throwing my long one, I'm here or I'm here, right? Um, it becomes more of a shovel type of a punch than a, a true uppercut, um, but still very effective. I, I use my long ones a lot. I'm a lengthy guy. I, I like to use my length, keep my distance as much as possible in general. Um, I'm not running into a lot of people that I'm not having a reach advantage on. So let's get into the details of the uppercut. Um, the uppercut's really from your lower body, right? Um, I can't throw a good uppercut with a wide, real wide stance, right? I can't rotate. I can't drive up very well if I've got a wide stance, right? If my, if my feet are too wide, that really limits my, my rotation on this and my upward power, right? I, don't, I can't really lift into this punch a lot. So I gotta have a closer stance, more like I would on a hook, right? Where it's my hook, I'm kinda here. My uppercut, I wanna be here, right? Here, or here and there. But I wanna be able to drive off of my legs. Um, you, should, you should feel a lot of tension all the way up through your leg, through your foot, right? This is, especially this close one, right? I'm trying to hit really hard and just drive up through my opponent's head. Um, I, wanna, I wanna land this hard, and I want to drop them with this, or at the very least, I want to hit this hard so it brings that head and that jaw way up, so then I can finish with that nice tight hook. So I'm, or um, right, I want to stick that chin up in the air, and I don't want them to be um, completely aware of what had just happened. I want to rattle that brain a little bit with this. So we want a good bent knee stance. We want a closer. Uh, closer distance between our feet, right? We don't want to be real spread out here. Um, we want to be kind of close here where we can rotate and drive, right? Same thing on my front on my front uppercut. I want to rotate my shoulders in, so I've got almost all my weight on this foot here, right? I got just a little bit on my back foot. So I'm rotating, I'm squatting, and then I, I can feel tension all the way, you know, from my foot all the way up the back of my leg into my butt, right? There's a lot of tension there. And then I want to let all that tension explode back out and I'm rotating my hip in as I raise up. And then I hit that. So 
If I'm throwing the rear, I sit heavy on this leg, right? There's very little weight here. I sit heavy on this leg. I rotate and I raise up and I drive off of my toes. My whole leg is engaged, right? Front hook or front uppercut, I'm here. I'm driving up and rotating in. Um, as your opponent moves further away, same lower body work, right? I'm here. I just extend it out more. Um, these work very well off of slipping punches, right? Punch is coming. I'm, punch comes. Punch comes here. I'm slipping to the outside there, right? They work very, very well off of that. So um, that's kind of the lower body thing here. Now, if the distance is say my opponent's out here, you know, jab length, and I want to get into where I can throw a heavy uppercut, I need to use my footwork, right? Um, at this point, you know, if, if he's where my jab's just touching, my lead uppercut is not going to be very effective without stepping into it a little bit, right? Um, but if I want to get into where I can throw that big, hard uppercut, I need to use my footwork very well. Whether I'm, I might be slipping and doing a shift and then throwing, throwing that, or I might be, you know, kind of jabbing and moving in with a big step and getting my feet close and then driving through that, oh, right? But I don't want to just kind of sit here and wait and try to throw this if I'm not, if I don't have my feet in range, right? I also can't step here and expect to be able to hit hard. Even though I've closed that distance, my foot, my feet are too wide, right? So this is bad footwork here. I can't explode into that punch, right? I need to be here and then I can explode into that punch. Um, so, Footwork is key on being able to hit a good, heavy uppercut here. Um, so the bolo. Um, from my understanding, bolo means machete in another language. I'm not sure which. But it's a, it's a long, big, looping uppercut. So um, it's kind of like a, like a haymaker, but going to the bottom, right? Not this big here, right? We're coming this way. So... This is a, uh, a big, powerful punch, right? Um, that's, the, that's the pro to it, is, is I'm here and I'm, I'm whipping this thing and I am really jacking somebody hard with it. Um, you can hurt a lot of people with this. The downside to this is I'm bringing it all the way back, big rotation. Notice my, my hips are still rotating into this. I'm still driving up, right? So I'm here. So the downside to this is, is I'm bringing this back Big rotation, which leaves lots of time to counter, right? So we got we to gotta kind of think about what we're doing when we're going to throw this, right? I can't just come out and be like, oh, right? If I come out and do this, an experienced guy is going to clock me hard um, right in the middle of that, whether it's, a, whether it's a hook or, you know, a straight or whatever, because this takes time. That's quick. That's quick, right? They, they've got the advantage there. So we have to hide our punch here or um, hide it or time it, right? So I can throw this if I know, say uh, I'm fighting an orthodox person, right? And I know they're throwing this jab and they're just feeling with their jab and they're not falling with anything, right? I can cock this as I slip, right? And then send it. So as the jab's coming, I can kind of roll and I'm cocking this and it's starting around as I'm slipping the punch and the punch is coming by my head and then I deliver that big shot. Um, my favorite way to set this up is I will come in, throw a one-two, right? I'll come out, you know, a couple combos later, I'll come back in with just a normal one-two, back out. I get them used to reading this, this one-two, right? Um, and I get them starting to get defensive. Uh, you know, the jab lands, if I throw this enough, they're expecting that two coming, right? And uh, a lot of times people will kind of drop their head and shell up here. Um, so I like that reaction a lot. Um, I can use this with other reactions, but that is by far my favorite. It's when they kind of tuck their chin and, and put their knuckles on their forehead because it leaves this big hole here to shoot that uppercut through. So what I'll do is I come in, I step in one, two, right? I do that a couple times in a round. And it gets, if I see them start to do this on that two and just kind of taking that two and trying to counter, that's when I look to throw this. So I'll step in one, and as I'm throwing this one, I'm cocking this back like it's a two, 
right? So as they see this cock back, it gets this reaction. And then I whip it around and come up in this hole here. And a lot of times I will follow that with a three, uh, with a hook, right? So it'll be, it'll be a, a jab and I'm stepping in on this, right? Jab, I'm cocking this just like it's a, it's a big right hand coming because I've hit him with it a couple times, right? I've let him know this is there. It's got some power to it. So they're kind of here, right? They're ducking their chin. So I'm here and then I cock this. And when I would normally throw this as a straight, I'm going to wrap it around and throw that big uppercut. Um, that is my favorite way to use the bolo punch. Um, so there's, there's multiple others, but that's pretty much in general how I do it. It's either timing their punches and slipping and attacking, or I set it up with this one or with this jab cross combo and then here instead of throwing it. So I'll come in and then boom, make them think this uh, straight right's coming. So that's the way I like to use that. If, uh, if you liked what was in here, please hit that like button for me. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe. We got new content coming out every day right now, so you don't want to miss anything. Hit the notification bell. Um, please share all over social media, right? Let's get this to as many eyes as possible, grow this channel. There is a Facebook group. Um, you should definitely join that. Lots of funny memes. Um, there's different, lots of people posting it. Um, anything that has to do with MMA, um, boxing, anything that has to do with martial arts in general, right? People are posting there. Um, lots of good information there. Um, stuff about major events, um, other people's techniques. There's, there's lots of good stuff there. So definitely join the Facebook group if you haven't. If you really like this and you would like to donate to the channel to help us grow, buy equipment, things of that nature, um, or just tip me for great service, there's a link below for PayPal. You can send a tip. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Google Mastering MMA. Um, it should come up and it will say Mastering MMA, the new home of the Harrisonburg MMA Institute, um, which you know we shut down, so we're going to revive it through this gym um, and grow out of here. Please go there, leave me a five-star review, say something great. Um, I would appreciate it very much. It will help me um, grow this as, as, and help as many people as I can, both the videos and in person as we start running classes eventually. So if you could do that, it takes less than 30 seconds. It would be a huge help. I would appreciate it very much. Um, I will try to put a picture of what it looks like in there to help y'all out too. And um, I believe that's it for this video. So if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Share on your social media. We will catch you next time. Mastering MMA with Coach Lee. Okay, when you Google Mastering MMA, something like this should pop up pretty close to the top. All you need to do is click on reviews which is the black one in the middle just below the uh, the name and it'll come to here please give it a five star review and then it'll ask you to you can click one of these and then also down here below shared details of your own experience at this place you can type something really awesome about these videos um, I appreciate you doing this it will definitely help out a lot